You might have heard that Doom is not 3D. That is of course not correct. But this certainly wasn't possible. So what does it take to draw extra floors like this? First, let me make a simple map so I can show you how Doom renders the scene. I have already made an introduction video about it, but this time we are gonna dig deeper. Ok, this is how the engine renders everything. Well, floors and ceilings are not drawn right away, but I made this change to simplify things. Now, let's dig deeper. I am gonna highlight the lines that are rendering and some internal calculations. Every time the line is picked, the engine calculates location on the screen. This location is used to draw wall texture and store pixel position for floor and ceiling. Now, if I change the height of this floor, it looks like this. So, this is basically what we want. But we only want to calculate floor stuff. We don't want to draw anything and completely skip walls. And here it is actually working. When engine hits these walls, it does extra calculations highlighted in yellow. When engine hits backsides, it does more calculations and uses previous calculations to generate fake floor. This floor is stored for later as the rest of solid geometry has to be drawn first. Now it just needs some thickness, fake walls. I will use original feature just for now. This is a masked wall and that's how fake walls have to be rendered. That looks solid, but it is not. Collisions are a different story. There is another rendering issue. Which floor has to be drawn first? And what if you add things? So this is my solution. Basically, entire map has to be split horizontally for each fake floor. This way everything can be drawn in correct order. This has to work for multiple fake floors per sector. And as a bonus you can use invisible fake floors for light effects. That's all for now, I am not gonna go into collision stuff here. See you next time.